What is going on everybody, Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you the Pixel Experience ROM for the Redmi K20 Pro. So here is the home screen, you've got the date and the weather. Moving to the left you've got the Google cards along with some news feeds. And if you want more stories you can click on there and it will populate a bit more. Now moving to the right, these are where your apps are going to install. There is no app drawer. This is because we are using the Pixel Experience ROM and it is very minimal as you can see here. And obviously you're not restricted to the Pixel Launcher, you can use anything else you want like Launcher or Nova. Okay, so um, the rest of the apps are here. And as you can see, we have got Magisk installed. So if, if you wanted root or other stuff, we've got this working right here. And another thing you might have noticed is that I've got this camera app. This is the Google camera app. So we've got most of the functions working here. Uh, if we go into more night site, now if you go into settings, as you can see here, we can obviously put on the grid if we want to. There is K mods and it's just a lot of options there. So I'm just going to come out of here. Now when it comes to video, we are restricted to 1080p video recording, unfortunately. Okay, so let's just come out of there. And the next app I've got is ANX camera. Now again, this is restricted. Um, if I go into say settings, it is black for some reason, I don't know why. And video quality, again, it is 1080p. So there is one other problem with this ROM. So if I go to portrait, the camera app crashes. I'm not sure entirely why it does that, but this totally crashes the camera. So if I open it again, there is no way out of there. So we're just gonna let the camera app close. Now, if you wanna fix this, long press, app info, storage, clear storage. Okay. Now let's just go back to the app drawer and allow the uh, usual permissions and this will give you the camera app back okay so next thing i want to show you are the wallpapers so these are the default wallpapers we have here but i did install something that gives us live wallpapers so this could be an example as you can see here, it is moving. So one of the favorite ones that I like using is this wallpaper here. And as you can see, birds are coming in from the right. So let's just set this wallpaper home screen and lock screen. And as you can see, they are flying over. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the quick settings. And uh, yeah, if we were to take settings, in terms of customizability, it is very minimal. Yeah, okay, so let's dive into settings and we're gonna go into connected devices. And as you can see here, I've got NFC enabled because this is the Chinese model of the Redmi K20 Pro. So next, let's go into display. Now, this is for reading mode and as you can see the color is changing on the screen it is just more easier on the eyes when reading. Let's get out of there and next thing we've got adaptive brightness as well. And then we have color settings so stuff like color profiles I don't really mess around with that reading mode again I can't tell if it's working but I think it just grayed out. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Okay, color calibration. You can actually mess around with all of this, but let's just reset that and come out of there. And again, picture settings, you can play around with more if you need to. So next we're gonna go to advanced colors. Again, you can change. I'm not sure if you can see the difference on the screen, but I'm just gonna leave it as natural so as you can see here we've got two options tap to wake double tap to sleep so let's just do that yes it's worked now 
doesn't work still doesn't work so let's see okay so we're gonna have a look a look at the device theme and we're gonna hit dark and as you can see it is gone dark completely now color theme let's change it to okay let's say tail and if I swipe down you can see it has changed and if I go all the way to the bottom once again you can see that and um, let's just change the theme to light again and I'll leave that there yeah so next let's go to um, digital well-being and it's not something that I really use so you can show the icon on the app list if you want uh, we can probably have a look at that later so we'll go into system so let's have a look at buttons so long press for torch this is when the torch could turn off navigation bar if I do invert and as you can see here is this is where it's come up for the back button so next we can go to the status bar so we've got quick pull down system icons so if I wanted to change the Wi-Fi it will disappear display mode if you want to show the traffic on the status bar but it's not something that I use gestures so jump to camera I think you double press it will bring up the camera mode for you swipe up on home so if I press that now we've got the classic navigation bar which I prefer okay swipe to screenshot I've got that enabled so photos taken great okay so what else do we have gestures we're gonna go into advanced and yeah so what I'm gonna do next is going to about phone I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says build number and tap it seven times you are now a developer so if I go back to system advanced options here so if I click on advanced restart so now if I press restart got the options for restart recovery and bootloader so yeah that pretty much um does it for this rom guys so the other thing is to look at is youtube and see how that plays for the media as you can see with the youtube video there is no problem with the sound or the video lagging look at the gaming side this is Mario Kart Wii for the Nintendo Wii and this is running on Dolphin emulator so that wraps it up for this pixel experience ROM overview if you have enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up if it is your first time here then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. If you want to see more custom room videos, then do let me know in the comment section. Hit that bell icon, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and like always, thanks for watching, and I will catch up with you in the next video.